Uh, hey, hey, Lanza, uh, I wanted to ask just what kind of steps do you feel like you've taken this offseason? What have you sort of focused on improving with your game? Uh, just working on my footwork, just trying to score around the rim, just because everybody in the SEC is like more taller than me. So I kind of got stronger off the over the offseason. So now just working on my footwork, just trying to get like scoring around the rim against other big guys and stuff. Michael and Anna. What, what's this whole experience this fall just been like, you know, just being a, a student athlete, you know, dealing with all the, the testing and safety protocols and all of that, just how have you adjusted to it and just what has it been like for you? Uh, I'm starting to get adjusted to it. It's a little weird just because, you know, from last year, we didn't really have to do no testing. We didn't have to wear no masks and stuff. So we're kind of getting, I'm starting to get used to it, but it's, it's still going to be weird at the end of the day. I mean, classes is going well. It's, it's weird, too, because, you know, we had to do Zoom. And some classes, you won't have a Zoom class. So, like, not walking to class and not seeing students on campus is kind of weird. Let's go to Mitch Brown. So, uh, for you to have those those couple of freshmen uh, added into the mix this year, they're banging down there with you. What has their progress uh, been like for you seeing it firsthand? Uh, I think they're, they're getting used to, like, the physicality and practice. So, we're just trying to get them ready. But when the SEC starts playing against other bigger guys, because, you know, it's going to be really physical down there. So just trying to, like, teach them the ropes on, like, being physical and just, like, trying to score around the rim and playing defense, just trying to get them, like, to the pace of the game. How long do you feel like it took you to kind of realize, like, oh, it gets a little bit more real in the SEC? Oh, I mean, the first day I knew because I played against Mike and Chris Silva. So, like, it kind of in practice was like really physical. So they kind of got me ready once the season started. Cause now I know like Chris is physical, Mike is physical. So I know how it is in the SEC against playing against other big guys. Let's go to John Del Bianco. Alonzo, you're now the veteran in the paint after, like you said, playing a couple of years with, you know, one year with Chris and two years with Mike. What, what did you learn from them most that you're going to rely on going into your junior year now that they're not with you? Uh, being more vocal with the guys. So just trying to help the freshmen out, just trying to like explain to them how like they taught me just being more physical, rebounding, how what the things Frank likes and Frank's um, some things he don't like. So just trying to help them with the ropes and just trying to be more vocal with the, the whole team just in general. And is there any added pressure that you put on yourself or on your shoulders knowing that, you know, you're the veteran in the group and, you know, you have the most experience down low? It's, it's, it's not really too much pressure. It's just more so just getting my, just the bigs and like the, the whole team ready. So just trying to like be more vocal with them and explain like the plays and like how to um, do certain things on the court. So just trying to look for like their shots and like some places on the court where they probably be open. Let's go to Ben Briner. Uh, Alonzo. When you're kind of out there in in, in different lineups, do, do you prefer being kind of the, the main big on the court or do you kind of prefer to be playing alongside someone else who's kind of a also sort of burly paint presence? Uh, Really just whatever um, Frank decides. I just kind of work hard just in the game. Whatever he throws in the – what lineup he throws in the game is more so just trying to help the team win. Let's go to Michael and Anna. Uh, you, you mentioned trying to be more vocal this year. Is, is that something that, that comes naturally to you? Have, have you been vocal in other teams in the past, maybe in high school? Or is that something that you feel like you've had to try to do a little bit more? Uh, in, in high school, I was more vocal, just like my senior year too, my junior, senior year, because I was more of a veteran. So just kind of like I understand the plays now. So it's just more so getting everybody else ready to understand plays and like trying to pick their spots. Because I know where Chris and Mike, they kind of were more vocal with me, just like pick same thing, picking my spots and just like learning to play. How does it feel to, to suddenly be the, the veteran in the room and to, to have that voice, you know, to, and to establish that voice on the team and to, to gain the respect from your teammates? Uh, it's a good thing because I feel like a lot of people now, like my team trusts me since I've been here for two years and I've been around Mike and Chris. So I feel like I, I feel like they trust me more just to have say so with the team. Let's go to John Del Bianco. Now in your third preseason camp, do you get a different vibe from this team, you know, having been around all these guys for, for three years now and the amount of experience this roster has from top to bottom? Is, does this preseason feel different than the than the previous two for you? Uh, yeah, kind of, because we now we're, like, older. 
So like now with practice, it kind of like, we kind of flow into it better. So like we kind of understand what we're doing. So now with Frank doesn't really have to teach so much on one thing, how we did like our freshman and sophomore year. Now it's just more so just a reminder, just a refresher. Let's go back to Michael and Anna. Is there anyone who has maybe surprised you so far as far as taking a jump in their game or anyone who's really stood out that you think might surprise just fans in general this year? Uh, I feel like everybody kind of worked on the game all season, which is pretty good because now everybody is more athletic, everybody is stronger. So I feel like everybody's going to impress during the games. Mitch Brown? Obviously, uh, just getting into the rhythm of practice. Has anybody been dunked on yet or uh, any posters yet? It's getting pretty intense out there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been pretty intense. It's been a couple posters. I know some, I don't really remember who did it, but it's been a couple posters and in practice so far, it's been pretty good. John Del Bianco, what's your chemistry like with Seventh Woods as, as one of the new ball handlers with this team now able to play? What what kind of chemistry have you two been able to form as a point guard big combo? Uh, really, just so far, like when I when I'm screening, just like the spots that he likes to pick when like he comes up shoot a pull up jump shot when I set a screen for him, like what side he likes to come off. So just more so like talking with each other during practice just to figure out what he likes as a as a guard and what I like as a big. 